Happening this weekend, you're invited to an exclusive brunch to learn how fashion experts convert content into currency. It's all part of Fashion Next's panel and brunch. And joining us in studio to break it all down are two people who are dressed way cooler than Ken and I this morning. <laughs> uh, Steve Smith is a lead designer and Colty, who is moderating the panel and fashion designer as well. Good morning to you both. Good morning, Good morning. Travis. Thanks for being in here. Um, okay, Colty, let's, let's start off with that, that brunch and panel. What exactly are we getting into with this? So we have a very exciting uh, brunch and panel planned for you. We have four amazing uh, panelists. Um, that we'll be teaching you guys about uh, how to convert content into currency. What does that mean exactly? Well, as you guys know, in uh, today's modern age, content is currency. We all create content. Um, and so uh, how, we, how can we monetize our platforms and the content that we create? Mm. Yeah, there's uh, so much creativity, of course, that goes on in the fashion industry. But a lot of times, uh, you know, as we say, you do it for the love of the game and you're looking to try to, you know, make money on it too. So this is what this is going to be all about, right? Exactly. Yeah, we all make content and we all have a lot of fun doing it. So why not uh, find a way to monetize it? Yeah. Uh, what kind of, uh, Steve, what kind of things are we going to learn in this panel? Oh, you know, it's it's always interesting, you know, because I'm, I'm one of the old vanguard of the industry, so I've kind of <laughs> bridged from pre-social media to social media, and so for me, I I use it to to help the company and tell the story of what we're about, and I think that's an important part of what you do with the content, how you present it, uh, and what level that you present it at, and then you can generate interest which then you know obviously hopefully feeds your revenue and your and, and helps to grow the business i mean if your if your goal is financial that's fine i mean mine is just uh to promote the brand and the art that we generate and create hmm interesting i, I want to ask this question to both of you and steve I'll, I'll start with you because you talk about your experience in it where where is portland industry where is the industry in portland now this fashion industry and how does it compare to the national landscape and how's it maybe even changed over the years i think it's you know it, it's having a bigger and bigger impact things like fashion next raised the awareness of what's going on in, in portland um, on the streetwear side that kind of I, I bridge into from sports uh, you have a lot of the major players here, and as they saw the emergence of streetwear and the sporting goods product crossing over into that, it opened up a whole new window and a whole new consumer for us, and it also exposed all the companies that are here in Portland, hmm. like Columbia, Nike, Adidas, on, uh, and, and it, it's brought other companies here as well, like hmm. Hoka is now here too, because oh. it's a hotbed, it's a hotbed of the business. That makes sense. Yeah, Fashion Next uh, is such a great showcase. I've been involved with Fashion Next uh, myself over the years. And, uh, you know, we've had a number of project runway winners that have come out of this area. Uh, Fashion Next, as I said, is, is a real showcase. So what's it like for you to be involved with this whole effort, this whole fashion effort? Oh, it's so exciting. I've been involved with Fashion Next for over 10 years. Um, and I've been uh, showing as a designer for four years. Um, this year, I'll actually, this will be my fifth uh, collection that I'll be showcasing at Fashion Next. Um, but it's, it's so exciting to have a platform like Fashion Next that I can, that can, you know, put me kind of on a national stage and showcase, you know, me as a small designer, um, you know, to the world. And, I, you know, make me an international designer. Yeah, uh, Fashion Next, I mean, their runway show is regarded as one of the best runway shows in the nation. And yeah. has been over the past several years. Yes, you know? yeah, on the entire West Coast for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's really neat. I, I feel like we've talked about this uh, with Fashion Next before, but what's your take on just kind of the booming Portland scene? We talked about that side of the industry with with you, Steve, just now. But I, it's Portland is often regarded as a top three fashion city now in the U.S. Colty, having grown up here, you're you're a local product. What what have you seen change? Yeah, I've seen a lot of changes, uh, a lot of growth in Portland. I think it started out. Um, you know, very Portlandy, and I think it's grown um, to be more modern and more contemporary. And that's, that's kind of one of my goals is to just bring more um, exciting fashion and more contemporary and modern fashion to Portland. That's really neat. Yeah, let's talk about uh, where people can get tickets to the event and, uh, you know, just uh, how people can get connected with this. 
Yes, yeah, so you can go to fashionnext.com slash tickets uh, to get your tickets to the brunch and also to get your tickets to the show in October. Awesome. That's going to be a lot of fun. Very interesting panel. And again, brunch with it, so might as well stop on by. Yeah, <laughs> get something to eat, get <laughs> some right. fashion tips. Uh, this will be great. All right, Colty Steve, appreciate you coming on by. Appreciate your time. We'll, we'll fix you guys up. Yeah, we'll no, we, I, yeah. Need it. I need it. I could use a little. If you have worn the same same suit jacket twice this week already, and it's Tuesday, so yeah, could we'll use get, a little love. We'll get you some fire fits. <laughs> All right. <laughs> appreciate it. Now, the content is Currency Brunch and Panel, Saturday at the PNC Live Studio in downtown Portland. Get your tickets now at fashionxt.com.